What it do, C fam? It's your boy C Will back at it with another light, slight video, man. Look, in today's video, y'all, y'all already know what's going on, man. Today is Tuesday, June 14th. You heard me? Um, I just now finished, I don't know, taking off the carbon exhaust tips on the car. You heard me? I just wanted to take off something, man. So I'm gonna be selling that to y'all. We got the headlights for sale. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, man. I left on the side skirts because I didn't know if the deal was gonna be for certain. But dude called me up early, he said, Hey, look, you know, we meeting at 12. It's 11.50, 11.51 right now. So I'm finna have to rush to the Chase Bank and get whatever I need to get, make the deal happen, man. So yeah, like I said, see fam, this right here is it, man. This is definitely it, y'all. This is the last look. You know, I'm gonna give them, you know, the black key and the red key, you hear me? And then go from there, man. Let me give y'all one last cold start, man. I'm telling y'all, yeah, look at those regular exhaust tips, man. I had to put them things back on. Like I said, carbon tips are for sale, man. So I'm gonna tell y'all the price and stuff later, but let me get y'all a light cold start. I never drove it today yet, so. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. It's really like bittersweet for me. You know, like, man, I'm getting out of debt, um, clearing up space, man. If I wanna buy a house, you know, extra 1300. Like I said, y'all, it really wasn't the money for me, man. Like, it's not, oh, gas is too high. Oh, blah, 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 man. It's just about that time. If y'all been following the channel, y'all know, look, I'm in and out of cars every year. Had this car, man, for over a year, y'all. I feel like I've gotten a lot of content and stuff out of it. It's on to the next chapter, man. Like I said, I hope y'all happy for me, C fam. I hope y'all can, you know, um, damn, the car's loud. I hope y'all can just appreciate, man, all the hard work that, that's gotten us this far. I'm not gonna say just me, because it's not just me. We a family, it's y'all too, right? So yeah, I hope y'all can just appreciate everything, man. Like I said, content-wise, I feel like Mopar content is definitely getting washed out. You know, everybody do the same stuff. Me and Muffler delete. My first mod is window tent then you know blah 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 everybody do the same stuff you know that's just coming from a mopar owner so i feel like mopar content man is washed out if you're not putting no forgiados on there doing nothing grand with the car it's not gonna get a lot of views you know whether you got a red eye whether you got a demon whether you got xyz even a track hawk man all that stuff is washed out man so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to you know going a different direction right y'all can make your own assumptions or whatever like that y'all want to do but yeah, man, like I said, uh, we done got all the content out of this car besides getting some welds, some drag pack and racing and all that. I don't do all that, see fam, just cause this car is under warranty. I didn't want to break nothing. But yeah, like I said, it's definitely a bittersweet moment, man. You know, my last time parking a car like this, man. You see that line right there? My last time parking a car like this, see fam. So yeah, the beast finna go, man. The beast is about to go, y'all, so yeah. Last drive, man. Let's get it. All right, see, fam. So, last drive in the whip. Oh, last drive in the whip, man. We got this thing. Good 797. I need it. I need it. I need it. Hopefully, man, we don't get stopped by the cops and nothing crazy, man. But, yeah, I definitely needed this bit, boy. Let me try to get y'all a little pull, man. It's my last drive in the car. 797. Stop playing. Man, like I said, it's definitely bittersweet, man. Bittersweet feeling. You know, we in the whip right now, you heard me? So, yeah, y'all. Man, it doesn't feel real yet to me. I don't think it feel real until I just don't have a car no more or until the car is paid off and X, Y, Z, C, fam. But, oh, stop playing. Ooh. Hey, ton of power left in this thing, man. You know, we selling it, y'all, with, what, 16,000 miles? You know, 16, I'm sitting at 16,297 right now, see, fam. So, I basically say selling it, man, at 16,3. So, yeah, man, this thing, this thing go crazy, though. Even on, like, street tires, y'all. Even on street tires, bro, we still go crazy. Just imagine if I would have put some wells on this thing or some. You know what I'm saying? Something crazy, but yeah, see fam. Yeah, he be having the cops and stuff over here though. Yeah, these 
these downshifts and stuff, crazy. Crazy, man. Look at Buddy. Buddy was looking. Put the window down too for y'all, man, so y'all can hear that bit right quick. The cops be lurking, boy. Nothing major, man. Nothing too, too crazy, you know. Nothing too, too crazy, but I'm finna hit that bit right here, though. Gotta hit that bit right here. Woo. Woo. Hey, gotta have fun with it, man. Gotta have fun. Guys, to have fun, man. So, yes, sir. C fam, bro. I can't believe today is really the day, man. Uh, so at first y'all really thought I was gonna be super duper sad man I really thought I was gonna be man like you know it's my baby it's what I worked eight years for almost man right y'all but hey like I said man on Instagram and Facebook bro if you can have some one time you can have it again man we not you know emotionally attached to these objects to these cars man so um yeah y'all I mean like I said most definitely bittersweet man bittersweet bro you know like once I sell this car and I'm actually profiting it's gonna be a big weight lifted off my shoulders. I guarantee y'all, man. So, yeah, stay tuned, man. I'm gonna definitely record throughout the process, man. Um, how how everything went? Did I feel like it's a scam? Do I feel like it's real? All that, man. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Please, stay tuned. Oh yeah, let me give y'all another little light pull. This bit right here said only what 37, but nah, get that. Bro. I don't think they got no cops on this little road right here, man. Let me get right. Man, I can't wait to, to like hear how this thing here in the video. I can't wait to hear how this here in the video. I can't wait to see how this thing was in the video, man. Good God, boy. These downshifts too go crazy on me. Oof. Oof. Ooh. Good God. This thing's scary, yo. Hey, it's scary, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Jeez, so, yeah, man, just pulled up. We at Chase Bank, man. My guy, David, bro. He's looking at the car and everything, just checking it out, man. Basically said he's admiring it, but like I told him, it's dusty right now, because, man, Colorado Springs and stuff is just crazy, man, yeah, but. Still, still shines through. Yeah, man, still good, so. <laughs> Like I said, man, we had Chase, man. I don't want y'all to think, you know, anything crazy or nothing like that, but yeah. But yeah, man, so the only thing I really did to it, brother, it was like a mid muffler delete just to make it sound a little bit louder. It has the factory cats on there, no tune. Um, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm still under warranty. I only have 16,000 miles on this thing, man. Um, yeah, uh, tinted out the back tail lights, put you know, a couple cosmetic things, the side skirts. I, I, I left them on there. Um, obviously, the whole wrap, the little wicker build thing in the back, yeah. got that on there too, man. But I, like that I mean, wrap. yeah, definitely, man, appreciate it. So, I mean, I think y'all should keep it on just to you know, I, I'm pretty, I'm, it's gonna sell regardless, don't get oh, me yeah. wrong. But I mean, if y'all do keep it on, I think it'll sell a little bit faster. Obviously, the base color of the car is white, yeah. you know. Uh, I had a bunch of different designs on it, I, it was all white first, then it was it had stripes, then I, I went black, black, black. So, I, I try to switch it up, but yeah, I literally got this done probably like two or three weeks. Well, no, I, I'll probably say I'm almost a month ago now, man. So, yeah, but yeah. That's the overall, um, I don't know, assessment of the car, man. I mean, uh, you, you can start it up if you want. Or, day, I'm sure. Yeah, man, it's a bitter, bittersweet day. Um, actually, let me see, let me get this little stuff out of here. Yeah, it's just floor mats and whatever else I have. Yeah, this little minor stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, everybody talking about nice car. <laughs> yeah, I will miss it, man. I will miss it, y'all. Let me get my little stuff out, man. It's real, bro. So we finna go and chase, get the deal done, man. Huh? Everything? Yeah, you can put this in the car, please. Yes. Just this, and then I have these right here as well. No, I don't know. I'm just keeping them. But yeah, man. Damn, gotta take the license plates off. I mean, yeah. I mean, if if you finish, David, we can just go in, yeah, I guess. I mean, so I mean, all I really need to do for for my part, I need to. Uh, Take a couple pictures of the uh, of the mileage. The yeah, thing, definitely. I got you. I just gotta plug in a little uh, 
code reader in here, and then okay. just to send off to my titling team up in uh, up in Texas. Okay, I got you, man. Uh, you can hold on to the key right quick, if it, so you can get the mileage and all that too, right For quick, sure. man. No problem. And I mean, I actually gave you the, the black key and the red key. Obviously, you're gonna need both of those, so yeah. for the new owner and stuff. So. <sighs> yeah, man. Shit, it's crazy, dude. Picking up, you know, not necessarily something as flashy as the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thing, but I'm picking up, you know, we, we picked up a G63 AMG yesterday. For real? 19, G63 AMG yesterday? Y'all yeah, had picked up, 19 see? Miles with, uh, 19 that, miles. That forest green, that deep green that they got. Ooh. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, bro. We pick up stuff all the time. So you're right. driving down the road, you got man. people like, damn, you're cutting you off. And man, down their I'm telling you, bro. It's crazy, man. Oh, yeah. It's definitely crazy, y'all. Oh, snap. You talking about, sir, that's not a parking spot. Talking about buddy right here. Sheesh. Damn, yeah, my boy. Gotta get up out of there. <laughs> yeah, you just plugging in his uh, OBD2 reader right now, getting information on the car. Um, sending it over to his titling people back in Texas, man. So, yeah, he basically said, like, he picked up a GT63 AMG yesterday. We're only 19 miles, y'all. 19 miles, man. So, yeah, I don't think it's fake. I don't think it's fake. Oh, I'm about to fall over, but yeah, man. Oh, it's really far. There's nothing out there. Right? Oh, I have to put a lift out there. Yeah, a so lift out there? God, so my <sighs> good chase. They got a hairstyle here. Oh, snap. Put a check right here. Go get the hairstyle. Hey, I guess so, man. Hey, you're gonna get right, man. This my recommendation would be at the very least to take a picture of this, even though a picture of everything, the only thing it does is take up your storage. But at the very least with this, it's got all the goodies on it and proof of purchase and all that stuff just in case you need it. Alright. And if there's any type of warranty that you need to cancel or anything where you can get some money back, this should be proof right. and date of when it's done and miles and all that good stuff. Is, is there where I can get like a copy of this by any chance or any uh, kind of? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah so this, it, this is important, this right here. The bill of sale and all, all this paperwork actually, if you don't mind. Take a look at the check, make sure I got everything prepared for you, and I'll be right back at the top. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 1843, turning on federal credit union. And you. Does that all look good to you? Does that spell it all correctly? Yeah, painting on federal credit union. Do the 10 day payoff is there. Boom, and Corey Willis, the remainder going to me. Yeah, I mean, every, I mean everything looks, looks pretty good, man. I mean, and then if you have any questions about any of the process, about like the banking side, right, right. like well, she'd be actually a good one to ask. She's one of the managers. She got uh, sure. all of the all of the knowledge if you needed it. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I changed, you know. Hey, I like these. Yeah. Yeah. And then, here you are. And then, let me see this one. I'm going to write your account number on there. And then when I send it up, I also, I'm going to, uh, actually, should I have it here? Printed that. I'll just get it at FedEx. But uh, I send it off with a copy of this as well. Okay. Just, uh, Cause you can just send it in with like a check and then like a memo saying the account number, but yeah. I've met too many people in my life to know that so not all people have a uh, common sense. So I, I yeah. put every redundancy that I can put on there. Are you gonna cash a check? Hmm? Are you gonna cash a check? Bro, please, dude. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Hell no. I can't believe it. Yeah. Original and then copy. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. And then, did you want an envelope for your check? Uh, yeah, that's fine. You got one envelope. Just need a copy of that one. Yeah. Um, I forget you like this a certain way, don't you? No. Are you sure? You said a copy. Oh, the other one? Do you need it? Of the no. check? No. no, 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 no. If you want a picture of that, you can get that too. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd, 
any all right y'all so as y'all can see man we got certified cashier's check man straight from the uh, teller right so this right here is the check that's going to uh pentagon federal credit union man already cat well not cash yet but um it's got to get overnighted to them we'll get a tracking number for that once he do do it this one right here is the payout right pay off them get the title um so they can get the title and everything. all right y'all just now getting a fedex man finna mail off the actual check to pentagon federal so appreciate it man yes sir No problem. I'm gonna get this thing mailed out, man. Man, where all the work is at, man? Everybody out there. Yeah, definitely. So that's gonna be this right here, and then. And then this with it. You can put your items in the envelope there. Okay. Yeah. And you're gonna have a couple of questions to answer there on the pen pad. No dangerous paper today. And then are you shipping on a FedEx shipping account? Yes, sir. Here for FedEx her. You can tell her yeah, you saw me earlier. That's what I'm saying. So one more time, or a quick David, man. Yeah, let's just so get, like, let's get a little peek. just so just so people see. know, man. Ooh, hey, you know, check, check is going there. straight to Pentagon, man. We're in, not playing no games, bro. It's not a off. scam. It's not nothing fake, man. Hey, watching them put the check in there straight to Pentagon, man. So they should get overnighted. Car should be paid off by Friday. Yeah. Car should be paid off by Friday, see fam. So and then yeah, get the title to me, send it over to them, and then go from there, man. So all right, and what is your first and last name? Did you just want me to put the uh, yeah, just keep it as the Texas auto. That's all right, boom. Address, man, is right there. Pentagon Federal auto payoff, right there, man. So, yeah, everything is cool. Check going straight there, man. So, got the envelope right there. You know, my man right here working it out, man. So, we gonna get it right, man. Ain't nothing crazy, you know. Someone's gonna love that red eye, man. Oh man, I already know. I already had my fun with it, man. So uh -huh. it, it's gonna go to somebody, somebody nice, hopefully, man. So they either gonna race it or, or, or they gonna park it in the garage. So that's literally all they gonna do to it, man. No, for <laughs> so, real. It's either gonna be I a mean, menace on the streets or a princess yeah, in a garage. In a garage, yeah. Gonna store it all summer, winter. I don't know when they gonna take it out, but hey, I don't know. One more time, man, just for the people, man, because I know people, people like, you know, Pentagon, Federal Credit Union, auto payoff, man. So, yeah, people like to, oh, see, Will, you got that, that, man. I'm not worried about it, man, so. There you go. Thank you. Yep, have a good day. All right, Dude, appreciate here. it, man. I'm only just going to really need a, a picture of this. Yeah, so, I'm going to just take a picture and, of the truck. Well, here, if you want, I can I mean, let you go with the whole receipt. I'm I got a, you. My part that I really need for my titling team is right here. Mm -hmm. So I got you, you, just, you got, you got that. Just take a picture of the receipt overnight, man. So it should be there. Shoot tomorrow. Then, so yeah, this has. I mean, it's all this good. got that tracking number right there. That circle. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah. that tracking got number. Got you. Got you. Got you. Well, and it says the address it's going to. Definitely, definitely, yeah, man. So it already says the address. So yeah, I don't want people to, you know. Just now finished angling the actual car, man. We already went inside uh, Chase, as y'all seen, try to give y'all footage of everything. Already went inside Chase, got the cashier checks directly from the teller. All right, so nothing crazy has been going on, man. I don't think they would issue him a check directly from the teller if they didn't have money in their actual bank account, man. So, and like he said, they actually gave him a receipt afterwards saying, hey, these are this is your balance after the, uh, the stuff was already went through. All right, so nothing went crazy. Then we came over here to FedEx, Got uh got the actual check 
mail you know overnight so it should should be hitting pentagon federal tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow night whatever it is right so yeah finna take this thumbnail man uh we'll probably get one last walk around the car and then yeah as y'all see man nothing crazy you know got the red key got the the 500 mode key all that good stuff man so yeah man finna get this last thumbnail and then that's it man so Whew. all right man that's spot that's very highly about uh handicap parking you can't ever do that ever get anyway. it right, so like, because uh, i was just there so for like two it, minutes it, 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 that too so you know I was two you're not supposed to be there any four seconds so I'm, nobody it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I have a handicap sign. I should have pulled my handicap sign out. Right. I mean, because now it's 15 minutes. It's only 15 minutes parking, and we already exceeded that as well. So. So you're gonna give me like two dollars for like 15 minutes. If, 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 if you want to pay, if you want to pay, you gotta pay it over there. So I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, I'm just enforcing the laws of the of the of the parking lot. That's my job. Right. Right. You know, it's like it's like your job in the military. You know, I was a former military myself. Right. Uh, I, did, I mean, you know, I just, I mean, you know, you know what to follow. Here. You have to follow rules, sir, regulations, I right? Sir, I was here a moment. It doesn't matter. Hey, bro, come on. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, he didn't pass. Come on, bro. actually the next day man so i wanted to finish this video up on the 14th the day i actually sold the car but today is the 15th man so just want to give y'all a recap man of everything that happened met up with the guy at chase bank um he took a look around the car like very briefly right um he said that he liked what he seen went inside chase bank got two separate cashier's checks right one cashier's check was him paying the car off in full right whatever i owed he paid it off right then the next one was the profit that i made which i'm gonna make a separate video on that people already asked me ac well how much you profit how much you profit man stay tuned man stay tuned yeah and then um after that we went to fedex which was where you know the people that follow me on instagram we took that picture in front of fedex of me giving him the keys to the car took that picture in front of fedex made sure that that check that cashier's check that he had overnighted it to pin fed which was my lien holder right the check actually made it to them today the 15th well whenever y'all watch this it'll be the 16th but yeah it made it there already man so i called up pin fed said hey when is my loan gonna be closed out they said hey it should be closed out you can check thursday or you can check on friday it should definitely be closed out so yeah now i gotta wait think a week or two they'll send me the title i'll send it to them cars off my credit man so yeah initially y'all i was sad and all that man but now like i'm looking at the bigger picture you know like you can't let an object define you you can't let something that's materialistic make you who you are man <laughs> you know like like i said i was sad y'all but whenever you look at the grand scheme of things man hey my credit finna go up like crazy right whenever i first bought this car y'all was ninety five thousand. i sold it well i'm not gonna tell you how much i sold it for but just know i mean it was a it wasn't too 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 far off you know based on the market and all that but yeah y'all i'm definitely happy man with um getting giving the car away or selling the car uh, i definitely feel like man it's the best choice i ever made in my life like i said you're gonna have your people that's gonna say oh man see will you sold it because you can't afford it y'all had this car over a year right like going on a year and a half i got my youtube content out of it man i have nothing left to prove to anybody man you know we've owned the zl1 we've owned the hellcat red eye i have nothing left to prove y'all right expectation going forward am i just gonna jump right back into another car probably not y'all you know that's just me being 100 percent with y'all i got two other cars i got my jeep and i have my dart both of those car payments together is just half of what the charger was so yeah man look we saving money we you know i'm saying xyz like i said y'all it wasn't the money the reason why xyz i just wanted to profit off the market you know i wasn't hurt and i wasn't down bad i wasn't on my last leg nothing like that see fam but yeah man i just seen the opportunity y'all and i took it all right as y'all see man y'all see the sea wheel plates in the bank you know end of an era man so like i said 
my next car might not even be a Charger or a Challenger, man. I had both Charger and a Challenger, y'all. So next car might not be that. Just to give y'all a way ahead, man. I feel like Mopar content is starting to get liquided down or watered down. Everybody do the same stuff. Me and Muffler Delete, I don't know, Window Tent, got man, Wicker Build. So, you know, it's repetitive, man. I did that with my challenge. I did that with both my chargers. I had two chargers, just so y'all can go back, right? So, yeah, man, like, I don't know. Like, comment down below what, what car y'all think I should get. Like I said, I don't plan on hopping into a car right away, y'all. Can I? Yeah, I can go get me a Challenger wide body used right now. I seen one online for like 70. You know what I'm saying? I can go back and get that, but that's not my prerogative. That's not my end goal. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all have like, like sight. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't see past having a Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. I got the vision though. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking past that. That's just a car. That's just a milestone that I hit in life, y'all. That's not even the epitome of where I want to be at. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, y'all, you know, I did take off this right here on the car. So, you know, we got the carbon exhaust tips, man. I tried to clean them up as best as I could. See, still got water in it. I'm still whatever, whatever. But yeah, man, so I got the carbon exhaust tips, y'all. They are pretty old. I got these for like 250 something like that. See that? So yeah, man, I mean, I'm going to let these go. I'm going to say 160 or 180 man all y'all really got to do if y'all so want to is like paint over this y'all can just repaint it to be honest it's really not hard get some like heat paint i forgot what it's called but it's like paint that um helps you it helps it stick to the thing although it's like heat it's basically a heat protectant paint probably from AutoZone, walmart man o'reilly then just paint over it man yeah it's a carbon steel at least on this one but I mean, whenever you put this on your car, man, you're not even going to be able to see that. Just going to see the five inch tips. This is all you're going to see. <laughs> That's all y'all going to see anyways, man. So, yeah, like I said, man, I'm going to let these go 160 locally or 180 ship. Like I said, y'all, these were 250. The polished ones are like uh, the steel color. is. It was way cheaper, but I got these ones painted. So, like I said, 160, man. I'm not trying to break y'all pockets, nothing like that. Or 180 if I got to ship them. So, that's that. Also, man, we have these lights, man. We ain't even put on a car. So, like I said, y'all, this is the Flow series, man. I don't know. See that? See where it says Flow? Boom. So, we got the Flow series lights, man, for a Dodge Charger. But it don't matter if it's SRT, any kind of charger, man. As long as you got the, the SRT type body style and all that, then you should be good, man. But, yeah, bro, I got these right here for like 400, something like that, man. So I'm gonna let these go. I say 260 local, 280, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got these for like 400. I'm gonna let them go 260 to 280, man. So if anybody want these for their Dodge Charger, bro, all y'all gotta do is hit my jack, man. You know, like I said, I got everything, y'all. I didn't open nothing. You know, everything you need to be successful, dog. You know, like I said, everything you need to be successful, man. See that flow? on oh, flow series man y'all can go on lighting trends and look up how much this thing is and all that i'm not lying to y'all come with the directions and everything so like i said 260 for this local 280 if i gotta ship it man i'm gonna just keep it right in the box take my little label off and then ship it man like i said i still got the box for these boys too you know kept it man see carbon exhaust man five inch tips letting those go and then lastly man i got these little I don't know. I got these from ZL1 add-ons, man. I didn't even use these. So it's the front and the rear. I might just throw these away, man. For, I don't know. But I'm gonna let these go for like 40, bro. Usually the, the front and the back come separate. It's like 80, but I'm gonna let these go for 40, man. They had gave me some screws, so all y'all really gotta do is line it up where your factory holes at and then drill some like screws or whatever, like wherever your factory holes at line it up drill the holes and then yeah you can either get the push pins or like i said i have some some self-tapping screws just screw it in like that but yeah so i got this for sale man forty dollars that's easy work this right chill man 160 locally or 180 man like i said y'all just gonna have to paint over this man just to give it a fresh look so 160 locally or 180 ship uh, like i said i still got the box and then this right here i think i said what 260 local 280 if i gotta ship it man so yeah i'm just trying to bless somebody man like i said y'all 
definitely the end of an era for the Dodge Charger content, man, because I don't put in so much work on the Dodge Charger, man, platform, bro. Like, y'all can go back and look at my old videos, you know, so. But Jesse, fam, all in all, y'all, I just want to thank everybody, man, for y'all continuous support, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, whenever I sold that car, bro, I was like, man, you know, I, I feel like I let my C fam down. I feel like I owe them, you know, another car on the channel. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, y'all? So just know, man, it's not the end of an era, bro. You know, it's okay to start over. It's okay to start fresh. Selling this car, y'all, definitely opened up so many doors for me, man. I can't even explain financially, credit-wise. Man, I can, I can go on and on, y'all. So it's more of a benefit for me to let the car go versus having the car, man. Well, have the car to do what? Look cool, have the car to what? Impress people. Y'all, like I said, I have nothing to prove to nobody, see fam? I'm a humble, young African-American man, right? So, I mean, I already beat the odds, you know, coming into the military, not being in jail, not being another statistic, not doing, you know what I'm saying, y'all? So we already overcame all the odds. Now we're just up from here. So like I said, comment down below, man, what car y'all think we should add to the channel, y'all? I don't want to do Dodge. People telling me, oh, look into BMW, look into woo, woo, woo. The maintenance on them crazy. So I don't know. But yeah, y'all, um, like I said, I can't thank y'all enough, man. Y'all new to the channel. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. Road to 10K, road to 10K. So look, I'll holler at y'all on the next one, baby.